Welcome back. We are now continuing with the reading of The Court Jester. I hope you are enjoying it. Ah, oh, what a great lunch. How was your lunch, Mr. Frank? For the last time, Frank is my first name. <laughs> sure it is. Quiet, Joe. Okay, great. Call your next witness. I'd like to call the local baseball manager, Kirk Young, to the stand. Call Mr. Kirk Young! And mark someone completely dicked out in a baseball uniform, baseball bat included. I swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So anyway, I was supposed to tell my friend Barry. Uh, I haven't asked you a question yet, Kirk. Oh, come on, let me ramble some. No! Ah, anti-Semitism! You're not Jewish? Damn, I see you found me out. I'll take a three-day sentence for my heinous act, my lord. You're not the one on trial, Kirk. Oh, that's right! Okay, fire away! I put it to you that you know the defendant, Frank Jameson. Correct. And how do you know him? He's my hitting coach. Kirk, when you saw him last, when and where was that? It was at the baseball field around 10.30. He was always the last one to leave the field. According to the report, Frank didn't get back to his house until 11.33. Why is that? You have to ask him. I don't keep track of everyone's personal life. So, maybe he was seeing another woman! I doubt it. He's always proven to be very much a gentleman and would never do such a thing. Maybe his wife knew, so she was having an affair and just pretended to be robbed. Objection, my lord! He's badgering the witness! I don't see a badger! That's not what I meant, my lord. I know! I was being playful! What about my objection? Sustain! Damn. Okay, no further questions. You're a witness, Joe. So, you're a baseball manager? That's right, I am. Cool! Can you tell the names of your players? Sure, but strange as it may seem, they give ball players nowadays very peculiar names. Funny names? Nicknames, nicknames. Not, not as funny as my friend's name, Sebastian Dinwiddie. Oh yes, 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 yes! Funnier than that? Oh, absolutely yes! Now, on my team we have a who's on first, what's on second, I don't know who's on third, that's what I want to find out. I want you to tell me the names of the fellows on your team. I'm telling you, who's on first, what's on second, I don't know who's on third. You know the fellows' names? Yes. Well then who's playing first? Yes. I mean the fellow's name on first base. Who? The fellow playing first base for your team. Who? The guy on first base. Who is on first? Well, what are you asking me for? I'm not asking you, I'm telling you. Who is on first? I'm asking you who's on first. That's the man's name. That's his name, yes. Well, go ahead and tell me. Who? The guy on first. Who? The first baseman. Who is on first? Have you got a first baseman on first? Certainly. Then who's playing first? Absolutely. When you pay off the first baseman every month, who gets the money? Every dollar of it. Why not? The man is entitled to it. Who is? Yes. So who gets it? Why shouldn't he? Sometimes his wife comes out and collects it. Whose wife? Yes. After all, the man earns it. Who does it? Absolutely. Well, I'm trying to find out is what's the guy's name on first base? Oh no, 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 no. What is on second base? I'm not asking you who's on second. Who's on first? That's what I'm trying to find out. Well, don't change the players run. I'm not changing nobody. Now take it easy. What's the guy's name on first base? What's the guy's name on second base? I'm not asking you who's on second. Who's on first? I don't know. He's on third. We're not talking about him. How did I get on third base? Mention the third baseman's name. If I mention the third baseman's name, who did I say is playing third? No, who's playing first? Stay off of first, will ya? Well, what do you want me to do? Now, what's the guy's name on third base? What is on second base? I'm not asking you who's on second. Who's on first? I don't know. He's on third. If I go back on third again, well, I can't change your name. Will you please stay on third base, Mr. Young? Please, now what does he want to know? What is the fellow's name on third base? What is the fellow's name on second base? I'm not asking you who's on second. Who's on first? I don't know. Third, third base. base. You got an outfield? Oh, sure. Your team has got a good outfield? Oh, absolutely. Left fielder's name. Why? I don't know. I just thought I'd ask you. Well, I just thought I'd tell you. Then tell me who's playing left field. Who is playing first? Stay out of the infield! Well, then don't mention any names out there. I want to know what's the fellow's name on left field. What is on second? I'm not asking you who's on second. Who's on first? I don't know. Third, Third base. base. Now, take it easy, take it easy. And the left fielder's name. Why? Because. Oh, he's center field. Center field. Stop this. Now, look, please. Mr. Young. Yes? Wait a minute. You got a pitcher on the team? Will this be a fine team without a pitcher? I don't know. Tell me the pitcher's name. Tomorrow. You don't want to tell me today? I'm telling you, man. Then go ahead. Tomorrow. What time? What time what? What time tomorrow are you going to tell me who's pitching? Now listen. Who's not pitching? Who's not? Break your arm, you say, who's on first? Then why come up here and ask me? I don't know what's the pitcher's name. What's the second? I don't know the third base. Got a catcher? Yes. The catcher's name. Today. Today. And tomorrow's pitching. Now you've got it. That's all. You've only got a couple days on the team. That's all. Well, I can't help that, all right? What do you want me to do? Got a catcher? Yes. I'm a good catcher too, you know. I know that. I would like to play for your team. I'm a builder range. Objection. Overruled. Thank you. I would like to catch. Now, I'm being a good catch. Tomorrow's pitching on the team, and I'm catching. Yes. Tomorrow throws the ball, and the guy bunts the ball. Yes. Now, when he bunts the ball, me being a good catcher, I want to throw the guy out at first base. So I put the ball in. Throw it to who? 
Now that's the first thing you've said right now. I don't even know what I'm talking about! That's all you have to do, is to throw it at first base. Yeah, that's not who's got it. Naturally! Who has it? Naturally. Naturally? Naturally. Okay, now you've got it. I pick the ball and I throw it to naturally. No, you didn't throw the ball to first base. Then who gets it? Naturally. Okay, all right. I throw the ball to naturally. You don't you throw it to who? Naturally. Now that's it. Say it that way. That's what I said. You did not. I said I throw the ball to naturally. You don't. You throw it to who? Naturally. Yes. So I throw the ball to first base and naturally gets it. No, you throw the ball to first base. Then who gets it? Naturally. That's what I'm saying. You're not saying that. Excuse me, folks. It's all right. I'm sorry, folks. I throw the ball to naturally. You throw it to who? Naturally. Naturally. We'll say it that way. That's what I'm saying. Don't get excited. No, don't get excited. I throw the ball to first base, and then who gets it? He better get it! I'm saying, all right, now don't get excited. Take it easy. Now, I throw the ball to first base. Whoever is drops the ball, so the guy runs the second. Mm -hmm. who, who picks up the ball, throws to what? What this is, I don't know. I don't know if it's back to tomorrow. A triple play. Eh, could be. Another guy gets up and hits a long fly ball to because. Why? I don't know. He's on third, and I don't care. What was that? I said, I don't care. Oh, that's our shortstop. That's it. I'm done with this. No further questions. Can I go home now? Yes, you can. So, Kirk left. Joe was still confused and couldn't figure out what Kirk was talking about. Let's get back to the story. Call the next witness. Call Mr. Clay Matthews. Clay Matthews, the linebacker for the Packers. I'm afraid not, my lord. Ah, here he is. An interrupted man, dressed like a football player, but wearing green and black, as opposed to green and yellow. I swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Well, that's good. Okay, Clay, do you know the defendant? Yep. Has he ever killed someone before? Nope. Okay. Would anyone you know want to rob Mr. and Mrs. Jameson? Nope. I see. Now, why do you think Frank shot this man? Do you think he was drunk? Nope. And so, did he do it out of cold blood? Nope. Okay, and why not? Now, how am I supposed to answer yep or no to that? You're not. Curses! Spoiled again! Just answer the question. Frequently kill anyone in cold blood because he's a pacifist. Ah, but he carried a knife with him. I did not know that until he shot the dead guy in the face with it. I see. I see. Well, Clay, I think you're on a very slippery slope. I do believe that Frank killed this man out of cold blood, and your comments only strengthen my theory. He killed the cable repair guy in cold blood! Why would the Jamesons need two cable repair men in the span of two days? What? Twenty days ago, I was talking to Frank, and he told me they were having some trouble with the cable, so they had someone come over and fix it. The man arrived the day after I talked with Frank. I did not know that. Joe did. Huh? What? Who said my name? I did. I said that you knew that Frank had the cable repair guy visit two days before the other cable repair guy visited their house. Crap! I knew I forgot to tell the judge something! Okay, I want a word with Joe. We'll resume the trial tomorrow morning. Did Joe just cost Frank the trial? Did Clay say Frank? Find out when we return.